One thing I love about Jesus, he was never concerned about who he hung out with. In John chapter 4, Jesus initiates a conversation with a highly unlikely character, a Samaritan woman who had five husbands. Being a woman made her culturally inferior. Her race, a Samaritan, told the Jews that she should be avoided, and her lifestyle choices marked her as one to be condemned. But Jesus ignored all the social barriers meant to isolate her because of his concern for her. Jesus' concern was for people, hurting people, searching people, people who made bad choices, empty people, really all people. Jesus is concerned about people, people like you and I. In verse 15, the woman refers to the hassle of returning to the well to get water. In the same way, she has repeatedly returned to the well of failed relationships to fill her emptiness, to quench her persistent disappointment. But in verse 13 and 14, Jesus offered to heal a hurt the woman didn't even realize she had. And today, he offers the same for you and I. Jesus said, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. While we fill ourselves with the water that the world offers, money, success, relationships, possessions, entertainment, the satisfaction is momentary at best. Jesus offers us peace, joy, love, and a relationship that is fulfilling. Jesus alone satisfies our every need. He quenches our every thirst. He lasts forever, and he never disappoints. Jesus approaches us in our current state and offers to meet our greatest need, the need for a Savior. Aren't you glad he does?